see? What's good, fam? Sorry, there's no intro. We aren't going to spare any any five seconds for the intro. We have 14 minutes to get this conversation going, and it's going to be on rape, mental health, and the conversation between the sexes. I hope you're cool with it, because today I have two of my very close friends from university joining us. We have one, Panda Bear, a.k.a. Juanita. Hi guys, it's your girl staying true to everything in society as you know. <laughs> Second, we have Innocent, who is doing pures at Molungushi University with the rest of us, apparently. <laughs> uh, the only difference is he's doing sciences, we're doing social sciences. But we hope we can get this rolling. This is Inno. Yo, what's up guys? Okay, so today's topic is a little bit heated because, again... African countries don't really like to talk about rape, but well, we're the kids on the block. We have to talk about this stuff because it's important. So we're going to start with the lady and hopefully we can get a clear consensus on the thought from her. All right. So my view is in the past years or in history, uh, we, people have documented a lot of rape cases against its women. Who, are, who always have, have it hard for them. Okay. Yes. So I'm here to, to be open enough to also try and, and understand if men have a high percentage of also being raped. Innocent say something. It's not about having a high percentage of being raped, uh -huh. but it's just the fact that men also get raped, isn't it? They do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. But... The percentage. Do they get raped? They do. Mm -hmm. But then, the percentage and stories are not so vast. It's like a once in a while thing. What? I'm sorry to say that. Mm -hmm. But it's not a daily thing. On a mm -hmm. daily, mm -hmm. worldwide, you hear a woman was raped, mm -hmm. was killed. Mm -hmm. Not only are women raped, mm -hmm. but they are killed. Mm -hmm. And then most, most rape cases, you either find it's gang rape, mm -hmm. You find there are a lot of men involved in the gang rape and also being forcefully raped. Like in the institution that we are in, actually, mm. it's hard also for women to come out and disclose that they are being harassed by males. You are saying it's very hard. Yes, it's, it's quite hard for most of them because, you know, it will, it will be like something... There's, there's a stereotype really that, ah, no, this person was raped, this, person, this particular woman was raped because of this. And if someone is going to try to construct a story just not to believe the, what happened to the woman. You know what I mean? It's, it's okay. on a daily. Mm. For a man, maybe it's just once in... We rarely hear these stories. How sure are you? I'm sure. Mm. It's a percentage. Okay, so your explanation is victim blaming. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. And Innocent says it's not really a justification of numbers. Mm -hmm. So my, my question is, why do you choose to ignore the fact that men get raped? Well, it's not really a fact that we choose to ignore that men are raped, but... Um, my opinion is that men are stronger than women. I'm sorry, I mm -hmm. just have to back this up with all my my everything. Uh, fair enough. Yes, mm -hmm. men are are very strong, and most men are quite aggressive when they don't get what they want. It's more like we in Africa we have this um, sense of when a guy gets for you something, he has to get something in return. So there are certain, not every man. Certain, certain men who expect you to buy you things, to pamper you, then you have to give them a share. Then, you know, some, some stories in the past, it's like, no, I was spending on this woman, then no, finally I, I had enough, I was stabbed. Then he forced himself on her. Okay, so, you were stabbed. Fair enough. You, you, you explain the background on how rape happens in most instances. You know, what's your take on what she said? For you to say um, what you said, I don't think that's justifiable. Mm -hmm. Do you know why there are a lot of cases uh, of women raped and men raped? Mm -hmm. Because 
you and I are married. Mm -hmm. We we'll go to the police station and say, oh, my wife, was, my wife raped me. Mm -hmm. Are they going to believe it at the station? No. Why? Because you're married. No, 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 yeah. don't say what you're yeah, married. Right. Do you yeah, know right. that? Yeah, married, yes, yes. we're married. Yeah, uh -huh. but you know that if we go to the police station and you say my husband raped me, they'll take you more serious. Well, we are married. Yeah, uh -huh. but listen, uh -huh. in, in in past years, not it's in past listen, years. No, listen, mm -hmm. in past years, mm -hmm. women were not allowed because there's a cultural standard. When you, as you get married, mm. you have to go through all these teachings, what, what, what. There's a saying for women where it's like, no, your husband is your husband. He's mm. allowed to touch you, even forcefully. Mm. And then women had that stand, had that ground that they can't say anything. It's now that mm. they are allowed mm. to come out and go to the police station and say, no, my husband is raping me. But in the past, mm. this is why women are always the ones with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, it's now that it's happening. But even now, if you and I were to go to the station and say, my mm -hmm. wife raped me, they won't take me serious. Well, the world is changing and they are listening. But I don't know. Mm. But you excluding the fact that you don't know isn't a fair, a fair answer. Well, women are I, always I, I, violated. Listen, I could, can, can I uh -huh. just say one thing? Mm -hmm. I could say this and you know for a fact. Women like men who are advanced, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't women clearly state when they're in the mood an answer is most people will say they don't like to look a certain type of mm -hmm, way exactly. how is that fair because then now you're putting the burden mm -hmm, on okay, men okay. hold on mm -hmm. i'm not done mm -hmm. you had your chance to speak i'm not done you're putting the burden on mm -hmm. men to understand your feeling yeah and when you say no it's hard to know if no is a no or no is a yes or yes is a no because mm -hmm. clearly that's what women want mm -hmm. and when men ask for women to communicate their standards emotions and feelings we're seen as people who don't understand and when we ask that we're told and you know for a fact men are called mansplainers how is that fair it's not Right? Mm -hmm. Men are held to such an unbelievable double standard that even when we talk about it, it doesn't look like it's fair because women want it that way. Most women would defend their defenselessness and still blame men for that. You know for a fact that's true. Mm -hmm. There are some women who would rather not know how to fix a car so that a man can help them than ever learn or actually have a man tell them, like, look, let me teach you how to do this so you don't ever have to need me. And then there are women who go the extreme route of blaming men for that. Right? Mm -hmm. Basically, it's the issue of you love your man and you ask him what looks different about you on an average day and you expect him to know you've changed your makeup. Do you really think your husband knows the difference between your makeup and your lipstick? Mm. But why would you? Why would you? Why would you want? <laughs> men are not fair. Why, ah, no, 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 fair. no, 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 no. <laughs> why would you expect me to do the same thing with the car's engine? I changed one single valve, and I tell you, "Hey, babe, come ah. over, come over, see what I've done with the car." Are you going do you to see the, the difference? No. So why do that to us? Uh, we're bringing, uh, we're bringing, uh, the, conver uh, we're bringing oh, wow. the conversation no, to the table. This is different. A car's parts and a woman's makeup and lipstick are very are two different things. But that's the point. Because you see her that's, every day. That's the, the point. That you see her every don't day, you see so the you, Don't you don't see you the car every day? day. You no, know, but you guys know more about the car. But you know, you know more, more about, about makeup. the makeup. <laughs> uh, no, no, oh, no. Don't you know more about makeup than I do? Of or, course. You see? So? No. But if you, if this person is your wife, at least you get to say, oh, babe, okay, what if, that that? if that's person your, is your husband, uh, no, if why that... wouldn't you take an interest in cars? Mm. Most some of the cars that you drive are, every some, day. Some women are interested in cars. Some, some women. Exactly. And some men are interested in makeup. Exactly. Some. But we but aren't, they, but um, we aren't but some it's, men. But it's the simplest things that a man should see because he looks at her but every day. But it's also day. the simplest it's things that women see. There's a difference. A car is a... Mo it, it, it's a it's a, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. But a person wears the makeup. 
a person drives lipstick? a car. You can notice if your wife has changed from red lipstick to pink lipstick. But you can notice when your husband changes the tint on the windows of the vehicle. Yes, you can. But see, if, if, if it's noticeable. See, see? same if thing. If it's noticeable, no. Same no, thing. No, but no. look, it's not like I'm trying to attack you on that mm-hmm. basis. It's that. We as human beings choose the most superficial things to validate. Mm-hmm. And that's not fair because over the last few centuries, that's how most arguments have been made. We both take philosophy, right? Mm-hmm. We learned the value of a solid argument. If premises that precede the conclusion are correct, the conclusion too will be correct, mm-hmm. right? So why is it that in the modern day and age, we choose to follow false premises to come to a solid conclusion. It doesn't work because that's not true. Rape is an issue for both sexes. It shouldn't be defended by one sex or owned by one sex. All it's right. an issue that needs to be solved by both sexes. Exactly, that's what's did happening. You, did you know? The world today, not, it kind of is not like the world is opening up. The world is opening up, especially with the Me Too movement, and will further proceed in, in information. Mm-hmm. But what we need right now is both sexes to join and communicate with each other. And that's what we're trying to do. And please but note, then... and please note, when I say sexes, I'm talking about both men and women. Exactly. And of course, there are people that are going to say the. There are more sexes than just men and women. Valid point. We need them to to help. Mm -hmm. But still, the conversation is always going to come back to both men and women having to sit down at the table to talk. And we can. Innocent. But everyone's opinion will be different, guys. So That's human nature. Mm -hmm. We need, as human beings, we need different thoughts and opinions to move forward. If not, we stay in the same place. Mm -hmm. All and right. men just men need to be taken serious. The fact that you women think no just because a man is stronger, meaning that that person doesn't have feelings. You get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, this thing of saying no, women are the ones that get raped and men don't. That's a scam. You even know. Well. Ah, uh-uh. you even know that. Well. What do you mean by well? <laughs> I mean it's time for people to join us, both uh-huh. genders. Yeah. That's where you're going to end that statement? Yeah. I, you know, I just feel like everyone has their own opinion. And uh, as a psychologist, <laughs> as the psychologist, <laughs> as the panda psychologist, um, as Anita, <laughs> I'm open to everyone's opinion and I'm ready to stomach it in and take whatever comes my way. And I'm also ready to fight for what I believe in and also... What you believe be open. that women get tripped. And be open as well to any new possibility of what... Because every life matters, right? Yeah. True. But regardless of belief, we all know we have to come down at the table to actually talk about the things that happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that includes the way we perceive the world and the way we think about things and topics. It is not fair to live... A question open-ended in hopes of trying to solve a problem, it doesn't work. All I'm saying is, women are right, but excluding the fact that rape is something that both happens to men and women, and uh, people in between sexes, (laughs) Mm -hmm. wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't solve anything. We, We need a clear open, honest channel of communication between the sexes and people in general because there are too many kids out there suffering because of our own hubris. And that's where I, as Down at 14, would love to end this topic, but I know there's still more that needs to be said. And hopefully people back home can help us because we don't know everything. True. True. So, until next time, Out. It was Panda, the psychologist, guys. Later, guys. And you can also follow my YouTube channel, Juanita's Diary, talking about everything real in my life and also 
around me guys thanks for having me this was before the crowd <laughs>